I decided I've become too good for my Mac. It served me for a while, but now I need something more fit for real manly shit. So what am I going to get instead? Windows? Linux? Whatever the fuck Google's doing? No. There's only one computer that's fitting for me. That's right. I'm using... So here's the plan. Make a fully functioning operating system on the original Game Boy that can run on actual hardware. Graphics, mouse, a coding interface using the BrainFuck programming language, file system, and finally an actual working internet browser. I'll delete that part from the video if I don't manage to do it so you won't know if I fail. To do all that, I plan to use GBDK 2020, uh, cross-platform develop- basically lets you convert C code to Game Boy Assembly. I don't know C, but I do know C++, so I'm adding on the challenge of learning a whole other programming language. Shouldn't be too hard. Alright, the first step is reading through this guide. And let's see what my first creation is. There's so much beauty in the world. Step 2 is making actual graphics for the OS, which I'm now dubbing GBOS. For that there's a handy program called oh right i still use the mac from earlier the fucking continuity i was struck down by this news for a while until i remembered wait shit i'm a programmer i can do what i want thankfully i've already made a sprite based graphics engine in python all i need to do is adapt it for the 8 by 8 tiles of the game boy and its color space and make it generate a corresponding hex code and put that code into a .c and .h file, and then make an entire mapping tool to go along with it to make things other than single tiles. Easy! Let's just put it in the oven and wait for a bit while it cooks. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, step right up and let me explain how this works. This here thing which it lets. <coughs> <coughs> You can point your mouse on the square you want to paint, <clears throat> and press 1 through 4 to choose the color. Once satisfied, press on the clip button, and the program will print on the hash value of the tile, compatible with Game Boy Memory Specification. Also, you can load sprites. I tried it out by modifying GBDK example files to get another masterpiece of art. <laughs> so much beauty! The precious little abomination of software and stupidity! Which brings me to the cooler program. GB Sprite requires a bit more in-depth knowledge about the memory and RAM of the Game Boy to explain, so it's fine if you skip it. The numbers on the right are what I call registers. The reason they go from 0 to 31 is because the Game Boy VRAM only holds 32 tiles. You can go over it with the Game Boy's equivalent to culling, and so can this program, but that's not necessary to know. To upload a sprite, enter the register number in the box here, paste your code in the corresponding register, and press enter. Now you can paint with the left click. You can enter multiple sprite values for each register. That's to accommodate the color thing from before, but make sure there's at least no gap between registers. That fucks things up and I don't want to fix it for you. You can change the map size by entering the dimensions in the uh, dimension box at the top in tiles wide by tiles high. When you're done, press the clip button. It'll create the convenient little files for you straight into your folder that are compatible with GBDK. I'm too lazy to add a map uploading function, so if you get it wrong, edit the .c file manually. It's honestly not that hard. Both of these can obviously be found in the description along with instructions. Alright, now for the fun part. Drawing stupid shit for the operating system, which... Oh shit! Funny joke, I actually studied graphic design in college. I'm clearly putting my artistic background to good use on that one, huh? After a bit more coding and figuring out how sprites actually work, I managed to make a mouse complete with obnoxious clicking. <laughs> well, now that that's done, it's time to add the programming bit to the operating system. The problem is, the Game Boy only has 8 buttons, Python might not be too suitable, or even C or x86 assembly, but BrainFuck. BrainFuck is made of 3000 registers containing each one number. I adapted it to use 1000 for Game Boy. I don't think it'll change how you use it too much. And it has 8 commands. Next register, previous register, increment register, decrement register, input, output, and the logic commands, aka 
if current register is not equal to zero, do commands until until current register is zero. That's it. Lightweight, sexy, and incredibly inconvenient to program with. It's the perfect programming language for my operating system. I've made it so you could write instructions by pressing A or B plus an arrow key. Look at it go! It's like the Microsoft Paint of Notepad, or the, the Etch-a-Sketch of QA form, more realistically. Now, all that stuff to do is write a brainfuck compiler in C, and by write, I mean steal from the internet. And then completely rewrite. And then completely rewrite. You know what, this is gonna take a while, so I'm just gonna pop it in the oven until it's ready, right? Meanwhile, I'll just talk to you a bit. So at this point, the compile time from this little program grew up to like a minute long, right? So I just started watching Twitch streamers and playing Minecraft in between compiles, and that's when I wondered, like, is this what real programmers do? Because shit, that's one hell of a job. I make one small edit and press enter, and if you're mad at playing games on the job, I can just say it's compiling. Just saying, hit me if you're programming and want to play COD with me during compile time. Okay, it's ready. By now, I'm basically done with what I was trying to do, so here's a program that adds two numbers. And here's a program that multiplies. If you want, you can make them do what you want, sky's the limit. But yeah, I actually managed to make a real programming ID on the Game Boy. That can run on a fucking Game Boy. Wild shit, I tell you. Anyway, that's um, basically it. I, I don't think there's really anything left for me to... Okay, okay, okay. I know I said I'd do it, but right now we don't have the time. Actually, the, the reason is the VRM is, is fucking up and making glitches when I tried cutting back to the home screen, so I need to learn how to manage it better, but uh, no matter what I do, it doesn't work, and I'm just so done with it, I, I don't want to look at it. But uh, I promise, I'll do those things at some point, so please consider this part one with part two coming um, at some point, alright? I'm sorry, I've got other cool stuff to work on, some of which I might post on this channel at some point. So, I guess that's it for now. I've included the 1.0 version of GBOS down in the description. You will need a Game Boy emulator to run it, though. And by the time this red bar hits the end of the gray bar, I'll be...